travel and journey through this land. Yeah. Yes, sir. We won't uh, be here very long, even in life. But Job says, man that's born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we're not going to be here long. Don't, don't try to prepare too much for this, this life. We want to prepare for the next life, next phase. Amen. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Next phase. Let's go to Galatians 6. Galatians chapter 6. And Brother Watson, I appreciate him for reading our scriptures, Brother Thompson for the singing. Amen. Brother Larry and Brother Larry for the communion. Amen. And Brother Smith for his petition. Participation. Amen. Thank everyone for what they've done this morning. Amen. And thank you for your lifting your voices. Amen. And helping us. Galatians 6. Let's start reading with verse number 1 because there's some important stuff in this scripture that we need to take notice of. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, let me know when you get there. Amen. Amen. Brethren. Talking to us now. Uh -huh. All okay. right. Talking to us. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, uh -huh. ye which are spiritual, restore, second one, in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. All right. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law. For if a man thinketh himself to be something when he's nothing, huh. he deceiveth himself. Right. But let every man prove his own work. Uh -huh. All right. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, uh -huh. and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Let him that is taught. In the word, communicate unto them that teach it in all good things. Uh -huh. Here it is. Be not deceived. All right. God is not mocked. Yes, sir. For whatsoever a man soweth, uh -huh. that shall he also reap. Yes, sir. Guarantee. I'd like to talk about don't laugh too soon. It's not over. I don't want to talk about that. Come on, man. Yeah. Don't laugh too soon. But what I do want to talk about is just a little simple word, responsibility. Come on, man. Is that all right? Yes, yeah. sir. Responsibility. We still see them talking about Floyd's death. Yeah. And the police officers that were there at his death. Uh-huh. But now we got to understand that somebody was responsible. Yeah, yeah. Somebody was responsible. Mm -hmm. And somebody is going to have to suffer the consequences. Because yeah, Paul says, whatsoever a man soweth, yeah. that shall he also reap. So yeah. let us remember that. Yeah. My mom used to tell me, say, well, do unto others. Uh -huh. And I think the Bible teaches that too. Do unto others and you would have them to do unto you. Yes. Because let me tell you something. What goes up comes down. Yes. What goes around comes around. Yes. Am I right about yes, that? Sir. So we better be careful how we treat one another. Yes, sir. That's why Paul said, bury one another. Because yes. as long as you're in this life, you're going to have some bread. Yes. Am I right about it? Right. As long as you're trying to be a Christian. I didn't know make no difference whether you're trying to be a Christian or not. Yes. You will still have bread. Yes. Yes. That's why Paul said you with your spiritual restore such a one. Yes. Now, if you if you don't uh, if you're not spiritual, now I don't want you trying to restore me when I get when I get caught in a fault. Yeah. yeah. Because I will get caught in some. Yeah. It doesn't make any difference whether you're a preacher, a elder, a deacon. You will have some faults in this life. Amen. But you got to understand that you still have to accept the responsibility. Yes. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. 
Uh, every time something go wrong, we want to know who's responsible. Okay. Even during this pandemic, I, I'd like to know who's responsible. Amen. Because somebody's Amen. responsible. That's right. Amen. That's it. Am I right about yes, it? Sir. And you know, that's why they want us to wear these masks. Yeah. They want to see we got to be responsible for one another. Am yeah. I right about it? Yeah. Put on your mask by all means. Yeah. Stay social distance yeah. by all means. Because this pandemic is still around. Yeah. But somebody is responsible. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right. Y'all don't think That's it. That's right. Yes, yeah. sir. Y'all believe that? Yes, sir. Somebody got to be responsible. All right. Am I right about it? I know the devil is. Amen. Uh -huh. I, I know the devil is responsible. Uh -huh. Now, I'm not going to hold God responsible, but I will hold Satan responsible. All right. Yes. For a day. In other words, uh, Adam and Eve, you know, people have always tried to play this blame game. Mm -hmm. They want to blame the preacher. I don't want to come to that church because the preacher's too long winded. Yeah. <laughs> blame. Yeah. yeah. Want to blame the preacher. Yeah. Uh, people are not warm enough. Mm. In other words, the person that come to church and how the other folk are not warm enough, not friendly enough, hey, check yourself. Right. Am I right about it? Amen. See, I, they, see if you're friendly enough. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Don't try to blame everybody for your faults. Mm -hmm. Yes. A lot of stuff is inside. It's the inside job. Am I right about it? Yes. Make sure you get inside clean up first before you look outside. Yes. Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever man sow it, that shall he also reap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, let me go back to he says, if any man be overtaken in a fault. Uh -huh. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. He, I don't want, hey, look, I don't want that person that has some faults trying to restore me now. Uh -huh. Am I right about it? Yeah. I don't want the person that's in trouble trying to get me out of trouble. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Amen. I don't want a, a, a person that's on drugs trying to deliver me. Mm. Oh. Am I right about yes, it? I want somebody that's straight. Am I right yeah. about it? <laughs> I want somebody that ain't on nothing. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. If they're going to try to help me get off, I want somebody that ain't on nothing. Yeah. I don't want an alcoholic to try to get me off too, off alcohol. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. all right? Yes, all right. sir. All right, I'm moving on. Preach. Ye, uh, overtaken on a fault. Ye with your spiritual, restore. Such a, you know God is the best for restoring. He's the best one to restore us. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. And I believe this sounds like Jesus to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If he's overtaken in a fault, watch this. Restore such a one in the spirit of what? Meekness. Yes. I believe this is God. Yes. Jesus. This yes. sounds like Jesus to me. Because yeah. everybody's not going to be meek when they're trying to restore you. Amen. You can't talk about me and restore me at the same time. Amen. Okay? Amen. If you're going to restore me, don't criticize me because guess what? Whatsoever come around, go around, but come around, whatsoever you sow, you'll reap. Amen. So be careful how you treat folk. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say, am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you are. We're responsible for one another. Yes, sir. Am I right about it? Amen. All through the Bible, the Bible talks about love one another. Bear one another's burden. Pray for one another. Yes. Man, we all hooked up together. We're connected. Yes. If you're in Christ, you're connected to me. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You represent me and I represent you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Have mercy, but yes, some sir. people, hey, ain't no room for prejudice. Yeah. Ain't no room in the church for a person trying to be prejudiced. Amen. Uh, am I right about it? Amen. We all have to try to love one another. And get along with one another and appreciate one another. Yes, sir. Because let me tell you something. You don't miss your water until your well run dry. Yes. Yeah, am I right about Amen. it? Amen. You don't know the price of milk and butter until you say you got it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> All that mercy. Let me move on. Bear one another's burden. Uh -huh. And so fulfill the law of Christ. Now he said, for if any man thinketh himself to be something, you know, you got a lot of folk like that in the world. Yeah. All right? Think they're too much. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Yes. When you think you're more than God, you're thinking too high. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. You need to come down. Yes, sir. Jesus told Zacchaeus to come down. When you climb up in the tree, come down. 
Sycamore tree. It looks like, yeah, sycamore tree, come down. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we need to come down because we think too high. In other words, pride. Don't let pride hurt you. Amen. Yeah. Pride can hurt you now. Amen. Uh, that's one thing to trust in God, but sometimes people get so prideful and think, hey, I'm doing this myself. Mm. You can't do everything yourself. You've got to trust God. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes. And, and God, if not, if you don't, God will fix it where you'll have to trust him. That's right. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. I've heard, uh, I was looking at the uh, news where in, in uh, Wiley, uh, the mayor, he wanted, didn't want the women to pray, okay? He would prefer a man to pray. Well, that's all right spiritually, okay? But now let me tell you, I'm going to tell you about me now. If I get in a crunch in a matter of life and death, yeah. I want a child to pray for me. I don't care who it is, I want them to pray for me. Yeah. It could be a woman, a child, baby, I want some prayer. Yeah. <laughs> I want some prayer, man. Yeah. As long as you pray for me, I'm good. Just pray for me. Okay. In other words, I'm not particular when it comes to prayer. But I understand that in business, some people are, you know, but uh, and he's uh, having a lot of trouble over it. If any man think of himself to be something when he's nothing, okay, he deceives himself. Here it is. But let every man prove his own work. Uh -huh. huh? In other words, when you do right, you don't have to brag about it. You don't have to brag about it because guess what? Your work will speak for you. Yeah, amen. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. In the day of judgment, your work will speak for you. Amen. Because the Bible says your labor will follow you. Am I right about amen. it? You don't have to tell them, you don't have to go around bragging about you being a Christian. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is walk the walk and people will see. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine yes. before men yes. that they may see your good work. Don't try to prove nothing. Yes. That they may see your good work and see that you're glorifying your Father. Yes. Amen. Whatever we do, we need to give God the glory and not ourselves. Am I right about Amen. it? Amen. Give Amen. God the glory. Yes. Whatever you own, Give God the glory. Amen. Whatever you drive, give God the glory. Yes, sir. Whatever you wear, give God the glory. Because guess what? You brought nothing into this world and you're not going to carry anything out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Y'all all right? Yes, all right. sir. Okay, let me Amen. move on then. Yeah. Responsibility. Yeah. A little boy, he answered an ad for a responsible person to, be, to fill a job. When the manager of the company asked the young boy why he considered himself responsible, a responsible person, the little boy answered, well, on every job I've had when something went wrong, the boss told me I was, I was responsible. Uh-huh. Isn't that something? Yes, sir. He was responsible. Well, that's the way it is today. People want to know who's responsible. Yeah. You can have an accident. They want to know who's responsible. Yeah. Yeah. When you see something on the news, the media, they want to know who's responsible. Uh -huh. Am I right about yes. it? Uh -huh. And you know that that's all right. But there's another, one of our greatest challenges in our day is the one of accepting responsibility. Uh -huh. One of See, so, even at church, somebody don't want to be responsible. Mm. I thank God for Brother James and Sister Smith. They're responsible for getting here on Sunday. I am too, but I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm responsible too, but I'm just slow this morning and got a bad hand. But anyway, we are responsible, okay? Amen. And you know what? We just have to work together. Work together. If we work together, we get the job done. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Uh, let me move on a little bit further now. Uh, you know, very few people want responsibility. Mm. Many want to be an idol. All right? Amen. And not get involved. 
But let me tell you something. When it comes to the Lord's will, everybody needs to get involved. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes. That's the only way you're going to save yourself. You got to be responsible. You got to get involved, and in you got to accept the responsibility of the work. Yeah. Amen. The work is not just up to the minister, Dallas Hillside. Amen. It's not just up to Brother James. We got to get involved and work with Brother Smith. Amen. If we want to get it done peacefully and in order. All right. Let all the things be done decently and in order. Yes, yes sir. So in order to do that, we have to work decently mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay? Responsibility. Let me move a little bit further. The major problem in the area of responsibility is that of shifting the blame to someone else for the thing that happened to us. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can't blame anybody else for what happened. You Even children sometimes blame the parents. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. For not making a good grade in school. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the teachers blame the children and the parents. For the conduct of the child. Am I right about it? We like to blame others. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know that. Yeah. I, I'm sure you're going to hear my wife blame me for her not being here this morning. But listen, <laughs> I'm warning your poor aunt. <laughs> She'll probably blame me. Why didn't you wake me up? Well, look, baby, you're a grown woman. I don't have to wake you up every Sunday. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Anyway, you look at it, that blood, and then, you know, in the, even in the garden, Adam and Eve, uh -huh. yes. this woman, mm -hmm. you gave me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes the husband want to blame the wife. <laughs> the wife want to blame the husband. Uh -huh. Well, now, somebody got to accept the responsibility. Uh -huh. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. uh, we, we can't go around blaming each other. We just got to be real. Uh -huh. Amen. In other words, in other words, you know, I, 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 the problem is, is not somebody else. The problem is within. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. a lot of our problems come with it from within. Mm -hmm. It don't come from somebody else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. So we got to first watch. You know, we got to be careful to try to blame somebody else about something. We have to blame ourselves for something. You know, criminal point of finger. At one another and say, he talked me into it. Mm. Huh? Mm. Some the devil made me do it. Mm. Yeah. No, the devil was in you and you did it. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> the devil didn't make you do it. Mm -hmm. The devil can't make you do anything. He didn't make Jesus cast himself down, did he? No, he sir. didn't make Jesus command his stone be made bread. Yes, yeah. sir. If he didn't make Jesus do it, he don't have to make you do it. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Some things we do because we want to do. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. We live in a I do as I please world, but sometimes you have to take the responsibility. Uh-huh. Amen. The, the idea seems to be that if we can blame someone else for our mistake, our our sin, we thereby become guiltless. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we take the guilt off ourselves by trying to blame somebody else. Mm -hmm. Right. But you know, you just, you just got to be responsible. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. No area of our lives is exempt from the practice of blaming. Mm -hmm. No area. Did you hear me? Yeah. Do I need to say that again? Uh -huh. No area mm -hmm. of our lives is exempt from the practice of blaming somebody else. Amen. Marriages are failing because one mate blames the other. Mm. Parents blame the teacher for the children for the low grade of their children. Teachers blame the students and parents for the problems they have with the students. Even in the church, I'm coming close now. I'm thinking to get on our street. Mm. Even in the church, we practice blaming. I don't attend church services because the preacher is long-winded. One man said. <laughs> <laughs> the church is not friendly, said the cold person 
who never make friends. Uh, Ain't that something? Yes, sir. You are a cold person who's going to always believe, Lord have mercy, blame somebody else. For some reason, we feel like we must blame one another else for all of the all that is wrong, in other words. Mm -hmm. We rarely blame ourselves. Why? If a person dies lost, I want you to answer this. You don't have to, you, just think about it. Brother James preached hard every Sunday. There are churches all over Dallas. But if a person dies, a Bible for everywhere. But if a person dies lost, who's to blame? Can anybody answer that? You don't have to answer, just think about it now. You can't blame a person if you lost, because guess what? You definitely can't blame God. Amen. John 3.16, the Bible tells me that God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten son yes. that whosoever believeth in him yeah. should not perish but have everlasting life. You can't blame God. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Yeah, you can't blame God. And guess what? You can't blame the son of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Revelation 1.5, you can't blame him. Philippians 2, 5 and 8, let his mind be in you. Yeah. Yeah. That was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes, you can't blame Jesus. Right. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't blame the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Romans 8, 5, so our spirit bears witness. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes. Uh -huh. Of his spirit that we are the children of God. You yes. can't blame the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Am I right about it? All right now. I tell you what, you can't blame <laughs> the Holy Spirit again in Acts 2.38. Yeah. Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. Yeah. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You can't blame the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. Come on you can now. receive the gift of him. You can't blame him. Amen. You're not right about it. You can't blame the Holy Ghost again. In Acts 5, 32, the Bible says we're witnesses of these things. Mm -hmm. And also is the Holy Ghost, which God given to them that obey Him. Yes, sir. Lord, that much you all right? Amen. You can't blame the Holy Spirit. Let me move on a little further. You can't blame the angels either. Yeah. Luke 15, the Bible said the angels rejoice yeah. over one sinner that repented more than 99 just persons that need no repentance. You can't blame me. Yeah. All right? You can't blame uh, the Bible. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. In Luke 1, 1 to 4, uh -huh. 1 through 4, you can't blame the Bible. Ephesians 3, 1, he talks about reading. Am I right about it? Yeah. You can't blame the Bible. Amen. Paul said, steady to show thyself approval of the workmen that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Yes. We got to study our Bible because you can't blame the Bible Amen. if you're lost. Amen. You can't blame the Bible if you're not doing God's will. Yeah. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 27, not every, 5, 27, 21, not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will. God has a will. We got to find his will. Amen. And his will is in the book. Yes. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen. We got to stay with the will. We can't blame God. Uh, some people you may blame from a stumbling block. Members of the family. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. Ephesians 6, 1 to 2. I'm not going to be able to quote all of you because of my time. What's that? Huh? This time, yeah, I better leave it alone. Let me hit one more. Let me hit a good one. Get for me this one, James. Come on, real quick. Get for me, get this one for me real quick. Uh, 1 Peter 5 8. 1 Peter 5 8. Because a lot of people want to blame the hypocrites. Church, the hypocrites cause problems. 
Well, let me tell you something. Wherever you go, that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. That problem in your home, you just don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you got problem, that trouble in your home. Yeah. If it ain't, you better move. Oh. <laughs> No trouble in your home, you need to move out. <laughs> Lord have mercy. First Peter 5 8. Be sober. Be sober. Listen. Listen. Be sober, y'all. Amen. In other words, be sound. Have a sound mind. Think soundly. Be sober. Be watchful. Read on. Because your adversary. Because. Why? Why do I need to be sober and be watchful? Because your adversary. The devil. That's what we're wrestling with, y'all. Amen. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against spiritual power in wicked places, in high places. The devil. Amen. Yeah. The devil is who we're fighting. Yes. <coughs> that's where our battle is. <coughs> so that's why we have got to keep our mind right. Mm -hmm. yes. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. But we have to renew our mind. Keep our mind, set our affections. On things above and not on things down here. Amen. Lord have mercy. I better leave it alone. I wish, well, I'm not going to say I wish I had time. I, I've had enough time to do what I did, okay? Preach it. So I hope we got something together. The bottom line is let's quit going around blaming other folks. Amen. All right. Amen. Let's all say amen. amen.